All right, so we're at the St. John's College AstroTurf hockey field and uh, I'm standing with the Zim Under-21 ladies hockey team head coach that is Tendai Maredza. Now you may have heard him in the headlines for his Reds Hockey Academy but this time around he's got an, uh, an assignment, a very tough assignment at that uh, but I'm sure he's going to be taking it on board. Uh, yes. Coach, uh, you're going with the Under-21 ladies hockey team to the World Cup it was pretty much sprung on you, but how are the preparations going? Well, the preparations are going well. Obviously, with the lockdown, it was a bit hard because we started training last year and then we had to stop and start. But I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed with the girls. After having stopped for the last two months before we were asked to resume, the girls are actually playing well. They're pushing hard. Fitness-wise, they're okay. We're still trying to push. But yeah, the preparations have been okay and I'm happy as a coach. All right, so just looking at, um, you know, we are in summertime, I mean, it's very much upon us. So how do you think maybe the heat factor will also assist when you then go and play the World Cup? Well, it's going to assist us a lot because in Pochestrom it's going to be hot in December. So we're actually happy that we're training in these hot conditions. So it's going to assist us a lot. All right, so just looking at the, at the uh, complement that you have, how many ladies are on the team, how many are you working with and obviously uh, that would definitely help in terms of uh, the, the depth of the squad. Yeah, so we've just fi finalized our final team, so we've got 18 players that made the team and then we've got uh, five nine traveling reserves. So obviously we've still got players that are outside the country, we've got uh, six players that are outside the country and we're working with the rest. So in terms of depth, we've got depth because uh, the tournament has asked us to, you know, to have two players on the reserve in the case that we have COVID-19 before we go. So we've got depth in the team and we've also got good players that have also represented us at the Youth uh, Olympics. Alright, whilst actually talking about the Youth Olympics, I mean you are talking about experience. How important is experience going into this tournament? Very much important because, you know, having the girls that have played at the Youth Olympics, they've seen it all. You know, going into a tournament like the World Cup, you might panic thinking, oh, we're playing against the mighty Australians and the mighty Netherlands. But those players have seen it and have done it all. So that experience is going to count and it's going to help us a lot. All right, so maybe just uh, finally here, Coach, um, I mean, there's a lot of conversation as to, as we can see, the country is opening up bit by bit. How, how important will it be to see hockey returning, especially on the local scene, so that we are always prepared for these tournaments, especially now, yes. considering COVID has been springing tournaments on many teams. Uh, like, hey, guys, you are the last finalists. You are the last winners, so you have to go. It's very important because, you know, having uh, not played hockey for the past two years actually affected us in the schools and also the club setup. And these players need to be constantly playing in the club setup and also in the school setup. So it's a major setback, but we're hoping that uh, from now going forward with players being uh, you know, encouraged to be vaccinated and all, we won't have to stop and the league will actually resume. All right, coach, uh, we're wishing you the very best of luck. We know that uh, it's going to be tough, but we know that you're preparing the ladies in order to do just that, that is to succeed at the tournament. Thank you very much and we're going to try our best.